Father, to call the roll. Uh, Mr. Chris? Here. Uh, Mrs. Kennedy? Here. Mrs. McLaughlin? Here. Uh, Mr. Wallace? Here. Approval of minutes. July 25th, 2013 special meeting minutes and July 25th, 2013 regular meeting minutes. So moved. Second. Should we call the roll, please? Uh, Mr. Chris? Yes. Uh, Mrs. Kennedy? Yes. Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Wallace? Yes. Under finance number one, recommend approval of the financial report for the month of July 2013. Second. Second. Uh, Mrs. Kennedy? Yes. Mr. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Chris? Yes. Mr. Wallace? Yes. Item two, recommend approval of accounts payable, payroll, and benefits expenditures for July 2013. So moved. Second. Second. Uh, Mrs. Kennedy? Yes. Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Yes. Mr. Wallace. Yes. Item three, recommend approval of transfers, advances, and advance returns for the month of July 2013. So moved. Second. Mr. McLaughlin. Yes. Mr. Chris. Yes. Mrs. Kennedy. Yes. Mr. Wallace. Yes. Item four, recommend approval of continued membership in Ohio Department of Administrative Services Cooperative Purchasing Program for the October 1st, 2013 through September 30th, 2014 period at a cost of $100, which is the same as the prior year membership. So moved. Second. Judge the roll, please. Mr. Uh, Chris? Yes. Mrs. Kennedy? Yes. Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Walls? Yes. Item 5, recommend approval of the fleet insurance renewal with Ohio Casualty Company, Kennedy Insurance Agency, for the August 27, 2013 through August 26, 2014 period at a cost of 24526 the prior year coverage cost $24,175. Pro proposed coverage would continue to include replacement cost coverage for buses 10 years of age or less. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Uh, Mrs. Kennedy? Yes. Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Chris? Yes. Mr. Walls? Yes. Item six, recommend approval of an agreement between the Goshen Township Board of Trustees and the West Branch Local School District for the purpose of providing a school resource officer for a two-year period, September 1st, 2013 through August 31st, 2015, at a cost of $10,000 per year, payable out of the general fund. Now, this is also the same as last year. So moved. Second. Should you call the roll, please? Uh, Mrs. Kennedy? Yes. Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Chris? Yes. Mr. Walls? Yes. Item 7, recommend approval to set aside funds under Senate Bill 345, Mythology, methodology for capital equipment in the amount of $375,356.94 for fiscal 2013-14. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Chris? Yes. Mrs. Kennedy? Yes. Mr. Walls? Yes. No recognitions tonight. WBEA comments. WBCA comments. No visitors, comments, no correspondence. Report to the board, Dr. Weinberg. Hey, Bob, John, you have a question? There was. Was there a comment? Here, I'm going to say. I don't know, I just didn't. Well, why don't I, I'll do my report real quick while we're taking a look at that. Just two items that I wanted to uh, share with you, uh, both of them uh, some nice, good information to start the school year out. Um, every year, West Branch Local Schools, uh, for as long as I can remember, uh, participates in something called uh, Ohio Right to Read Week. Uh, we do this every May. This past uh, May was the May 12th through the 18th. And uh, to receive Ohio Right to Read Week celebration awards, each school or library must participate in a minimum of three of the activities that they list, and there are many. But I'll just uh, let you know a couple of the ones that are out there. And uh, one is uh, uh, daily sustained silent reading, uh, the really nice book it program for Pizza Hut. Students read a certain number of books and get to eat some pizza. Uh, teen read program in October, uh, daily reading allowed uh, younger students to older students, uh, participation in the Young Authors Writing Conference, and uh, tutoring at a number of different levels. So I'm pleased to tell you that every one of our schools, it's coordinated through our library program here, does participate in, in that, uh, our uh, elementary schools, our middle school, and our high school. And so I have um, certificates from the Right to Read Council, and I'll be those, but I wanted to let you know that that had occurred. I also want you to know that uh, just recently uh, the uh, state of Ohio released a uh, new version of the uh, state report card for each one of the school districts. 
And I'll give you like a, a little uh, preview of coming attractions. But in September, uh, Mr. Kitzmiller, who uh, is our middle school principal, but also uh, doubles as our testing coordinator, will be here uh, to go over a lot of information uh, with you on our testing program, uh, elementary through high school. But he is, uh, would, would also uh, share with you tonight, uh, up until now, uh, for the last, uh, for about a decade, uh, school districts have been rated uh, anywhere from continuous improvement to excellent with distinction. Last year, we were fortunate uh, to be uh, rated as excellent with distinction, and we appreciated that very much. Uh, this year, they've done away with those particular categories and have gone to an A, B, C, D, F uh, uh, rating. And I'm very pleased to tell you that in um, standards met, uh, West Branch met 23 of the 24 standards, uh, once again had a performance index that exceeded uh, 100. And uh, for the uh, standards met for that category, uh, West Branch received an A. So I'm pleased to report that, talk to the teachers and the staff about that at the opening of school, and I can't think of a better way to start school out. So just wanted to share that information with you. All right, I apologize. We do have a couple of people that wish to speak. Again, I think both of you have been here before. You know that you each get five minutes. We're probably not going to we're not going to respond to your your uh, questions or anything until we get all the facts. And uh, so, who wants to speak first, Mr. Gullett or Mrs. Neal? I know you can't answer any questions, but I have three concerns about the tax levy, which you guys get ready to ask for. A, in 1968, 33 kids more graduated than they did last year in this school with less half the staff. But yet, you guys want to hire more staff. No call for it. There was more kids in 1968 graduated from West Branch than they did last year with less than half the staff. Two, the attorney fees. One, is she getting paid to sit here tonight on our tax dollars? And if so, why is she here? But yet you guys won't ask for more money? Is a deal with Tracy McFerrin done yet? No. She keeps postponing it and charging taxpayers more legal fees for no reason. That case should have been done months ago. But yet you guys want more money. The school plays. Where's all that money going? You guys sold out every school play last year. Paying any of the school bills? No. It all goes to the music department. So the taxpayers should pay the gas bill in the middle of the winter when you do Beauty and the Beast. The doors open and close a thousand times a night in the cold. Electric bill, paying the extra janitors all the time. Is that fair to us taxpayers? When Zamorelli makes $10,000 or whatever it is off these plays? You guys start need to start using your heads if you want money and start showing on the books. And it really upsets me about this attorney sitting here. Well, we appreciate that. Pay. We appreciate this. Have a seat. Yes, next. And see, that's Thanks, what you thanks a lot. Her. Thanks a lot. And we have Mrs. Neely, right? Again, the retire rehires. There's seven of them on here, and I did a little more research. A teacher coming in, 33000 is the basic rate. I went back clear to 2007 for Mr. Morphle, just now. In 2007, he made $55,988. That's beyond the five years. <coughs> Granted, you don't pay, you won't pay his medical or anything, but that's still not going to equal what you would pay for a new staff member. Not even close. Okay. And then you're going to do that seven times over. Okay, can, I, can, I, can I ask you a question? You, you brought this up last time. Yes. So between now and next meeting, if you could come in to talk to Mr. Telzer, who's our treasurer, he will give you the numbers of what a rehired teacher is, and it's not what you just stated. Well, you said five years. You would go back to the five year. Well, that's beyond the five year. No. And that's exactly what I went through. 
we, we would be happy to sit down with you and, and just to explain this information. And then if you want to come back and make a comment based on that, that's fine. But I just want to make sure that you have all the, the right and accurate information before you do that, okay? I mean, and I'm a state employee, so I know. Well, I, I, don't, I don't think you have the, the, the accurate information for us to be able to, okay. to have a real picture. And, 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 and after you do that, if you want to come back and, and continue on with this, that's fine. Okay. But, but it's been twice now, and, and we just want to make sure that we've had an opportunity. We've not had an opportunity to talk with you, and, and we sit here and are not really able to enter into well, a dialogue. Maybe afterwards, if you have time. I, I time cannot now? do it afterwards. Call me. Call me, because we want to well, spend see, some time. I, I have a job. I work days. I will meet so. you at night. Okay. Well, I just can't meet you tonight. Okay. Okay. That's, that's fine. That's no, fine. I really want you to have the right information because okay. if you understand that, I think I think you'll see um, some wisdom to this. Okay. And if not, that's fine. I just want to make sure you've got the right information. Okay. That's that's all. I, I appreciate that. Okay. Okay. Um, and then I go to the Title One tutors. Mm -hmm. I tutored for Title One when my kids were in school. I did it for free. Okay. I don't know when the paying for this came in, but I mean, my, my youngest will be 20. All right, so it's been a little while. Can but I, I did we, this we, for we have We have much to talk about, so please come <laughs> in and do that. I'm simply going to tell you, and I don't usually respond, that's federal money, that's federal government money specifically for that purpose. But please come in and I will we'll explain that to you, because it looks like a lot of people. I understand that, but I want to understand why the federal government gives us that money and how it's allocated. You probably did Ohio Reads, which was a wonderful program. It was a volunteer program. I did do that at Knox. Yeah. But yeah. I also did the Title One. Okay. Good. Okay. Uh, but come in and, and we'll explain that to you too. But I wouldn't want that. So is there a, diff a way to differentiate what is coming from the school and what's coming from federal? Absolutely. That way, because I think the taxpayers, myself, would like to see the difference. I think that's an important point. I, yeah. I absolutely agree. Yeah. I'm. Okay. I'm. I'm good with that. So will you come in and we can explain exactly where that is. Okay. Because uh, the title money actually has kind of grown in the last couple of years, which is good. It allows us to give some specific intervention to our kids. Um, and as far as an intern, mm -hmm. in, don't, intern. She's right there. Would you isn't like to say hi, Jordan? Isn't yeah. Isn't that part yeah. of their training? Uh, that the money comes to us from the state of Ohio. It doesn't cost us a dime. Okay. We get all this wonderful service from this lovely young lady. So we appreciate you bringing that up because you get a chance to meet Alice. Absolutely. Yeah, nice she's going to be a great addition way. to West Branch. <laughs> yes, now, she, if you would just get her some green clothes. Look. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Other than that, that she's perfect. Got to get you out of the yeah. See, so now, as you know, nothing is personalized at any, I'm not pointing fingers at anybody. Well, that's why I'd like to sit down with you, not at a board meeting, and, and let you roll out all your questions, and we'll stay with you as long as you want to, because it's all pretty complex stuff. Okay. One more. I, think. I know you can grab but I don't mean it that way. But it's no. just if, if we know in advance what you're looking for, Absolutely. we'll pull it out, and then we can we can have a good well, discussion. Well, I, I didn't have this beforehand, but um, anywhere that I've ever in my entire life worked, um, we have never had our facility or agency pay for flowers. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think that's unnecessary. That has always come out of our own pocket. You know, if you want to get flowers, you know what? Take up a collection. Here you go. They all sign a card. We're sorry. Accept our sympathy. Whatever. Blessings. I, I think it's unnecessary at the least. I, I just I really do think of that. Um, have one. Oh, no. <laughs> um, how we got the A and the excellent rating. Um, I just have to point out that Mrs. McFerrin was a big part of that because she was here teaching at that time. So it obviously didn't, you know, she contributed to that excellent rating. We appreciate, will you do that? Will you make sure you call me? Seriously, before oh, the next you. meeting. You and we will set up a time to do that. I'm anxious to talk to you. You betcha I will. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, no old business, new business, item number one. Recommend approval for the superintendent to purchase flowers on behalf of the school board for the purpose of granting condolences on an as-needed basis. So moved. Second. Mr. Richard Pelder, roll, please. Mr. Chris. Yes. Mrs. Kennedy. Yes. Mrs. McLaughlin. Yes. Mr. Walls. Yes. 
Item 2, recommend approval to compensate Karen Suggett for in lieu of transportation for the 2013-2014 school year at the established IRS mileage rate for round trip mileage from home to school two times daily for days in attendance. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Mrs. Kennedy? Yes. Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Chris? Yes. Mr. Wallace? Yes. Item 3, recommend approval to enter into an agreement with the Village of Beloit for ambulance service for the 2013-2014 fall season at the rate of $75 per game. Second. Can you call the roll, please? Mrs. Kennedy? Yes. Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Chris? Yes. Mr. Wallace? Yes. Item 4, recommend approval to contract with Dr. Dwayne Everett, Everett Health Center, Incorporated for athletic coverage for the 2013-2014 school year. So moved. Second. Try to call the roll, please. Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Chris? Yes. Uh, Mrs. Kennedy? Yes. Mr. Wallace? Yes. Item 5, recommend approval to establish school, school fees at $15 for kindergarten to grade 4 and $20 for grades 5 through 12 for the 2013-2014 school year. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Mr. Chris? Yes. Mrs. Kennedy? Yes. Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Wallace? Yes. Item 6, recommend approval to establish lunch fees at $2 for kindergarten to grade 4 and two twenty-five for grade 5 through 12 for the 2013-2014 school year. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Mrs. Kennedy? Yes. Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Chris? Yes. Mr. Wallace? Yes. Item 7, recommend approval of transportation 2013-2014 adopt routes and stops and give authorization to make changes and adjustments as needed in the interest of safety and efficiency. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Mrs. Kennedy? Yes. Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Chris? Yes. Mr. Walls? Yes. Item 8, recommend approval to accept the following gifts and donations from Linda Walker to the high school wrestling program, $500. From Coles to Knox Elementary Principal, $500. West Branch Athletic Boosters, West Branch Athletics Watering System, $1,100. West Branch Athletic Boosters, West Branch Athletics Video Editing, $304. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Mrs. Kennedy? Yes. Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Chris? Yes. Mr. Wallace? Yes. Item 9, Personnel. Under Item A, recommend approval to employ Emily Gunning as an intervention specialist for extended school year services during the summer of 2013. So moved. Second. Treasurer Fellow, please. Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Chris? Yes. Um, Mrs. Kennedy? Yes. Mr. Wallace? Yes. Item B, recommend approval to accept the resignation of Sherry Kitzmiller as Director of Special Services effective August 5th, 2013. So moved. Second. Treasurer Fellow, please. Mr. Chris? Yes. Mrs. Kennedy? Yes. Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Walls? Yes. Item C, recommend approval to accept the resignation of Alana Nemec as school psychologist effective August 6, 2013. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Uh, Mrs. Kennedy? Yes. Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Chris? Yes. Mr. Walls? Yes. Item D, recommend approval to accept the resignation of Mickey McDormand as a school nurse effective August 15, 2013. <coughs> So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Mrs. Uh, Kennedy? Yes. Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Chris? Yes. Mr. Walls? Yes. Item E, recommend approval to accept the resignation of Sherry Smith as an educational aide effective August 16, 2013. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Uh, Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Chris? Yes. Mrs. Kennedy? Yes. Mr. Walls? Yes. Item F, recommend approval to accept the resignation of Mary Jo Ferguson as an intervention specialist effective August 19, 2013. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Mr. Chris? Yes. Mrs. Kennedy? Yes. Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Walsh? Yes. Item G, recommend approval to accept the resignation of Elizabeth Hall as Special Services Secretary effective August 30, 2013. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Um, Mrs. Uh, Kennedy? Yes. Mrs. Laughlin? Yes. Mr. Chris? Yes. Mr. Walsh? Yes. Item H, recommend approval to accept the resignation of Bonnie McClellan as a freshman cheerleading advisor for the 2013-2014 school year. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Mrs. Kennedy? Yes. 
Ms. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Chris? Yes. Uh, Mr. Wallace? Yes. Item I, recommend approval to accept the resignation of Stephanie Cope as a transportation aide effective August 21st, 2013. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Mrs. Uh, McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Chris? Yes. Uh, Mrs. Kennedy? Yes. Mr. Walls? Yes. Item J, recommend rehiring Terry Roma as a high school teacher for the 2013-2014 and 2014-2015 school years for the negotiated agreement with the staff. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Uh, Mr. Chris? Yes. Mrs. Uh, Kennedy? Yes. Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Walls? Yes. Item K, recommend rehiring Linda Imhoff as an elementary teacher for the 2013-14 2014 and 2014 2015 school year for the negotiate, negotiated agreement with the staff. So, second. Thank you. Mrs. Kennedy? Yes. Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Chris? Yes. Mr. Wallace? Yes. Item L, recommend rehiring Dale Morkel as a middle school teacher for the 2013 2014 and 2014 2015 school years for the negotiated agreement with the staff. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Uh, Mrs. Kennedy? Yes. Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Chris? Yes. Mr. Waltz? Yes. Item M, recommend rehiring Jane Markle as a middle school teacher for the 2013-2014 and 2014-2015 school years per the negotiated agreement with the staff. So moved. Second. Second. Uh, yeah, call the roll, please. Uh, Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Chris? Yes. Mrs. Kennedy? Yes. Mr. Waltz? Yes. Item N, recommend rehiring Nancy Winnery as a family consumer science teacher for the 2013, 2014, and 2014, 2015 school years per the negotiated agreement with the staff. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll. Mr. Chris? Yes. Mrs. Uh, Kennedy? Yes. Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Walls? Yes. Item O, recommend rehiring Miranda Zadigian as an elementary teacher for the 2013, 2014, and 2014, 2015 school years for the negotiated agreement with the staff. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Uh, Mrs. Kennedy? Yes. Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Chris? Yes. Mr. Walls? Yes. Item P, recommend rehiring Robert Offenbecker as a physical education teacher for the 2013-2014 and 2014-2015 school years for the negotiated agreement with the staff. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Uh, Mrs. Kennedy? Yes. Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Chris? Yes. Mr. Waltz? Yes. Item Q, recommend rehiring Louis Celeroli as an intervention specialist for the 2013-2014 and 2014-2015 school years per an negotiated agreement with the staff. So moved. Second. Second. Call the roll, please. Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Chris? Yes. Mrs. Kennedy? Yes. Mr. Waltz? Yes. Item R, recommend rehiring Joseph Janaki as a middle school teacher for the 2013-2014 and 2014-2015 school years per the negotiated agreement with the staff. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Mr. Chris? Yes. Mrs. Kennedy? Yes. Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Walls? Yes. Item S. Recommend approval to employ Heather McMasters as an intervention specialist for the 2013-2014 school year. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Mrs. Kennedy? Yes. Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Chris? Yes. Mr. Walls? Yes. Item T, recommend approval to employ Kathleen Soline as a professional development coordinator for the 2013-2014 school year pending certification. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Uh, Mrs. Kennedy? Yes. Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Uh, Mr. Chris? Yes. <coughs> Walls. Yes. Item U, recommend approval to employ Alana Nemec as an interim director of special services for the 2013-2014 school year, effective August 6, 2013. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Chris? Yes. Uh, Mrs. Kennedy? Yes. Mr. Walls? Yes. Item V, recommend approval to employ Elizabeth Hall as a school nurse for the 2013-2014 school year. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Mr. Chris? Yes. Mrs. Uh, Kennedy? Yes. Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Waltz? Yes. Item W, recommend approval to employ Karen Elsner as special services consultant on an as-needed basis at the rate of $18.75 per hour. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Mr. Chris? Yes. 
So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Um, Mrs. Uh, Knegge? Yes. Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Chris? Yes. Mr. Walsh? Yes. Item X, recommend approval to employ Kristen Bartolotta as a speech language pathologist for the 2013-2014 school year. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Mrs. Knegge? Yes. Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Chris? Yes. Mr. Walsh? Why? Item one, recommend approval to employ Jennifer Anderson as an elementary teacher intervention specialist for the 2013-2014 school year. So moved. Second. Jennifer, call the roll, please. Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Chris? Yes. Mrs. Uh, Canadian? Yes. Mr. Walsh? Yes. Item Z, recommend approval to employ Allison Krupko as a psychologist intern for the 2013-2014 school year through a State of Ohio School Psychology Intern Grant. So moved. Second. call the roll, please. Um, Mr. Chris? Yes. Mrs. Uh, Canadian? Yes. Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Walls? Welcome. Yeah. We're very glad to have you here. Very and nice. uh, not to put you on the spot, but we'll do that. If you wouldn't mind just telling us uh, briefly about the intern program, because I believe uh, she's the first intern that we've had, psychology, a psychology intern. And, and sort of a little bit of how that works. It, it just. Yeah. Just basically, we, we're just... Uh, uh, well, yeah. I have my master's in school psychology already. We get that in our first year of our program, and I'm working on my specialist degree now. Um, and this is the last requirement for me to be a licensed school psychologist, so I'll just have a couple of supervision hours. Um, but for the most part, once I get my feet on the ground, I'll be kind of on my own at the elementary schools and then fulfilling some requirements of high school and middle school. And you'll be working uh, with Mrs. Nemec? Yes. yes. I'll be working under um, Mrs. Nemec's supervision and then with Mrs. Shemielski. And uh, school psychologists are required to have a year-long internship, which is quite a commitment. So we are, and as we talked a little bit uh, earlier, the, at least there is some funding for this, and it does come to us from the state, and um, uh, we are happy to receive that and very happy to bring you on board. So thanks for coming. Thank you. Item double A, recommend approval to employ Patricia Jarvis as an aide for the 2013-2014 school year pending certification. <coughs> so moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Um, Mrs. Kinney? Yes. Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Chris? Yes. And Mr. Wallace? Yes. Recommend approval to employ Monica Palmer as an aide for the 2013 2014 school year pending certification. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Um, Mrs. Kinney? Yes. Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Chris? Yes. Um, Mr. Wallace? Yes. Recommend approval to employ Danielle Kinsey as a three-year, three-hour, three-year, three-hour playground aide for the 2013-2014 school year pending certification. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Mr. McLaughlin? Yes. Um, Mr. Chris? Yes. Mrs. Kanegi? Yes. Mr. Wallace? Yes. Recommend approval to employ Tracy Courtney as a two-and-a-half-hour two playground aide for the 2013-2014 school year pending certification. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Mr. Chris? Yes. Uh, Mrs. Uh, Kennedy? Yes. Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Wallace? Yes. <coughs> recommend approval to employ Lori Bush as a Title I tutor for the 2013 2014 school year pending certification. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Mrs. Kennedy? Yes. Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Chris? Yes. Mr. Wallace? Yes. Recommend approval to employ Diana Wallace as a Title I tutor for the 2013-2014 school year pending certification. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Mrs. Uh, Kennedy? Yes. Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Chris? Yes. Mr. Wallace? Yes. Recommend approval to employ Jeffrey Rhodes as a Title I tutor for the 2013-2014 school year pending certification. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Um, Mr. Chris? Yes. Um, Mrs. Uh, Kennedy? Yes. Mr. Walls? Yes. Recommend approval to employ Brianna Kelikava as a Title I tutor for the 2013-2014 school year pending certification. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Um, Mr. Chris? Yes. Mrs. Uh, Kennedy? Yes. Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Walls? Yes. Recommend approval to employ Alexis Schmidt as a Title I tutor for the 2013-2014 school year pending certification. So moved. Second. Huh? 
George Carlos. Um, this is a Canadian. Yes. Ms. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Chris? Yes. Mr. Wallace? Yes. Recommend approval to employ Betty George as the Title I tutor for the 2013-2014 school year pending certification. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Mrs. Kennedy? Yes. Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Chris? Yes. Mr. Wallace? Yes. Recommend approval of the following additions to the 2013-2014 classified substitute list. Sharon McGuire, Julian Worley, Sherry Hoffmeyer, and Lita Davis. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Chris? Yes. Mrs. Kennedy? Yes. Mr. Wallace? Yes. Recommend approval of the following additions to the 2013-2014 certificated substitute list pending certification as listed. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Mr. Chris? Yes. Mrs. is uh, Kennedy? Yes. Mr. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Wallace? Yes. Item M, recommend approval to employee Michael Sellaroli as an aide for the 2013-2014 school year. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Mrs. Kennedy? Yes. Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Chris? Yes. Mr. Wallace? Yes. We're going to break item N out here. I'm just going to read down through the first one, and we'll do the others as listed. Recommend approval to grant the following supplemental for the 2013-2014 school year. High School Newspaper, Mackenzie Wallace. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Um, Mrs. Uh, Kennedy? Yes. Uh, Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Chris? Yes. Mr. Wallace. Abstain. And recommend approval to grant the following supplemental for the 2013-2014 school year. All the other ones under that as listed. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Uh, Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Uh, Mrs. Kennedy? Yes. Mr. Chris? Yes. And uh, Mr. Wallace? Yes. Recommend approval to employ the following as auditorium technicians for the 2013-2014 school year at the rate of $9 per hour. John Zamorelli, Eric Wagoner, and Victor Turner. So moved. Second. Treasurer Paul Wolf, please. Ms. McLaughlin? Yes. Uh, Mr. Chris? Yes. Uh, Mrs. Kennedy? Yes. Mr. Walls? Yes. Recommend approval of Eric Wagoner to be a volunteer driver to transport personal property for the 2013-2014 school year, pending approval from Fleet Carrier. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Mr. Chris? Yes. Mrs. Kennedy? Yes. Mr. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Walls? Yes. Recommend approval of professional leave superintendent's assignment request, Exhibit 1. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll. Mrs. Kennedy? Yes. Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Chris? Yes. Mr. Walsh? Yes. We have a very long addendum, so we'll go to the addendum now. Under new business item one, recommend approval authorizing the superintendent to apply for two additional waiver days for the 2013-2014 school year. The purpose of these waiver days will be to provide in-service training to the instructional staff on the state-adopted content standards and state testing. The dates for the waiver days will be at the discretion of the superintendent. The total number of waiver days for the 2013-2014 school year will not exceed four days. During the waiver days, the students will not be in attendance. So moved. Second. Treasurer Paula Wolf. Mrs. Uh, Canadian. Yes. Mrs. McLaughlin. Yes. Mr. Chris. Yes. Uh, Mr. Wallace. Yes. Item two, recommend approval to establish a fund for the Warrior Wipeout, 018906B. Second. Treasurer, call the roll. Mrs. McLaughlin. Yes. Mr. Chris. Yes. Mrs. Kennedy. Yes. Mr. Walsh. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Kitzmiller is here, and if I were the press and others, I'd wonder what the warrior wipeout was, let alone 018906. <laughs> so, Mr. Kitzmiller, could you? It's very exciting. I've never done it before, and maybe uh, you could tell us a little bit about it. Sure. Warrior Wipeout is an idea that was generated by one of our uh, parents in the community as a way to, uh, for, for folks to come and have fun, as well as a way to raise money for technology in each of our buildings, as well as for the district. So Warrior Wipeout is a 5K, which is a 3.1 mile obstacle course. It will be located on the campus of the middle and high school uh, where we sit. And there's been a, a committee put together to uh, organize this and, and get this geared up and ready to go for October 5th. So mark that on your calendar, October 5th. 
and um, it's not a, a full out run of a 3.1 miles, but there'll be 10 different obstacles to crawl over, climb under, crawl through, walk around, and all kinds of fun stuff. Sounds so, like my basement. <laughs> yes, exactly. Very similar. Um, so we really encourage everybody to participate. There will also be um, a mini obstacle course for students uh, 10 and under with a separate registration fee. So October 5th, beginning at noon up through about 6 o'clock. And it's all around in through here. That's correct. And if we wanted more information, we, there's a website that you say? Yes, there is a website okay. called warriorwipeout.org. And there's also a link on our school website that will take you to the warriorwipeout.org site. Thank you. Thank you. We look forward to our board members and superintendent I'm, I'm, I'll for sign participating. Can I take a 10 and under? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll allow you. I've seen them. If there's scary. a t-shirt, they're in. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be the scorekeeper. Okay, Thank that'll you. work. <laughs> Thank you for that. All right, item three, recommend approval to accept bids for dairy products. Second. Treasurer Mr. Chris. Yes. Uh, Mrs. Kennedy. Yes. Mrs. McLaughlin. Yes. Mr. Walks. Yes. Item four, recommend approval to award the dairy bid for the 2013-2014 school year to Dean's Dairy. So moved. Second. Treasurer Colorado. Uh, Mrs. Kennedy. Yes. Mrs. McLaughlin. Yes. Mr. Chris. Yes. Uh, Mr. Walls. Yes. Item five, recommend approval to accept bid for bakery products received through the Metropolitan Educational Council. So moved. Second. Treasurer Colorado, please. Um, Mrs. Kennedy. Yes. Mrs. McLaughlin. Yes. Mr. Chris. Yes. Mr. Walsh. Yes. Item six, recommend approval to award the bakery bid for the 2013-2014 school year to Nichols Bakery. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Mrs. McLaughlin. Yes. <coughs> Mr. Chris. Yes. Um, Mrs. Kennedy. Yes. And Mr. Walsh. Yes. Item seven, recommend approval to accept the resignation of Jennifer Anderson as an aide effective August 23rd, 2013. Second. Second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Mr. Chris? Yes. Mrs. Kennedy? Yes. Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Walls? Yes. Item 8, recommend approval to rescind the actions taken on July 25, 2013, authorizing Rachel Vassella an unpaid leave of absence from August 26, 2013 through November 22, 2013, under FMLA. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Um, <coughs> excuse me, Mrs. Kennedy? Yes. Mr. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Chris? Yes. Mr. Walls? Yes. Item 9, recommend approval to grant Rachel Basala an unpaid leave of absence for personal reasons through November 18, 2013 through November 24, 2013. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Uh, Mrs. Kennedy? No. Uh, Mrs. McLaughlin? No. Uh, Mr. Chris? No. Uh, Mr. Walls? No. Item 10, recommend approval to employ Daniel Hall as a long-term sub for middle school math pending certification. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Uh, Mrs. Uh, McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Chris? Yes. Mrs. Kennedy? Yes. Mr. Ron Wallace? Yes. Item 11, recommend approval to employ Kay Hetler as a home instructor for the 2013-2014 school year on an as-needed basis. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Uh, Mr. Chris? Yes. Uh, Mrs. Kennedy? Yes. Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Walls? Yes. Item 12, recommend approval to employ Pam Douglas as head cook at Knox Elementary for the 2013-2014 school year. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Mrs. Kennedy? Yes. Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Chris? Yes. Mr. Walls? Yes. Item 13, recommend approval to employ the following as ticket takers for the 2013-2014 school year as listed. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Mrs. Kennedy? Yes. Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Chris? Yes. Mr. Wallace? Yes. Item 14, recommend approval of the additions to the 2013-2014 classified sublist pending certification, Deborah Eady, Teresa Phillips. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Chris? Yes. Mrs. Uh, Kennedy? Yes. Mr. Wallace? Yes. Item 15, recommend approval of the following addition to the 2013-2014 certificated license sublist pending certification, Suzanne Waterbeck. So moved. Second. Treasurer, call the roll, please. Mr. Chris? Yes. 
This is a Canadian? Yes. Ms. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Walls? Yes. I need a motion to adjourn to executive session to consider the employment and compensation of a public employee. No action to be taken. I make a motion to go into executive session. Second. Okay. Treasurer, call roll, please. Mrs. Kennedy? Yes. Mr. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Chris? Yes. Mr. Walls? Yes. There we go. Okay. Thank you. Thank you all. Short little meeting.